Welcome back to the channel. So we're getting more and more pictures every day in of the brand new 2024 ICCE school bus and it's looking better and better each day. Now, as you guys know, they haven't updated the ICCE since 2004 and that's a very, very long time to keep a school bus model on the road. But as the saying goes, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Okay. So we're getting more and more videos and pictures in of this new bus. Now, I have not seen one yet. The scary thing is I've been a school bus driver for about 13 years, and we've had the exact same buses for those entire 13 years. We've had this IC model since I was in high school. So that's a really, really long time, guys. This, this bus has been around forever. It's ancient. But now we have the brand new refreshed model and I want to share with you the freshly released pictures of the interior, the dashboard, the... this bus they changed the ac heat controls they changed the steering wheel they changed the dashboard they changed the instrument cluster they changed the steps they changed the front windshield they changed everything about this bus the only thing that looks similar about this bus is the body the body looks to be fairly the same as the previous generation model, but we're just gonna have to see once we get inside the bus. So unlike the previous generation, the new bus only comes in two engine options. You have electric or you have the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. They did away with the gas engines. They did away with the propane. So those are no longer an option if you buy an IC school bus, which I'm sure many of you guys aren't going to buy a brand new IC school bus. Even if you did, you can't get propane. You can't get gas anymore. And that's kind of sad because the gas engine, I heard a lot of drivers really, really like the gas engine. When you would start up the bus in the morning, it would get warm quicker. It drove better. According to many drivers, they love the gas engine. But the Max Force has been gone forever. They replaced it with the Cummins Turbo Diesel, which has been pretty durable. It's proven itself time and time again. I mean, everybody knows Cummins. It's basically the same engine that's inside the Ram heavy duty trucks, just tweaked a little bit differently, but basically the same. So we know those engines are great. We all know that those buses get up and boogie, man. You hit that gas, you're phew, you're gone. A lot of the cool features in this bus are technology. You have the Bendix brake system, which does automatic braking if you get too close to the vehicle in front of you or if the car slams on its brakes. You have stability control that's unlike any other in its class. I'm curious to see if they still have the technology package inside these buses. I know a lot of these buses were offered Wi-Fi. They had USB outlets for you know, electronics for phones or iPads for the kids or whatever. So I'm curious to see if they still offer that package. I didn't see anything in the brochure, but I'll keep you guys posted. Now, the one thing I did notice about the new ICCE is the interior looks a lot like the old Thomas, the Thomas C2. They do look very similar now. Where IC used to stand out from the crowd and Thomas had its own look, IC had its own look, Bluebird had its own look. Now it feels like all three are just sort of being integrated in each other and everybody's just sort of copying off each other. And I kind of don't like that. I like when they all have their individuality and they have their individual style. So I'm hoping that 
I'm wrong by looking at the pictures and the videos of the ICC, and I'm hoping it still has its individuality and style that's unlike the other two brands. But like I said, we're just going to have to see. Now, another cool point is they have LED running lights now. So daytime running lights are a big thing. All cars nowadays come out with LED strips all over the place. Now you have them on school buses, which is a first. You've never seen this before. And I always thought it would be cool to have school buses with LED running lights. So the fact that they now have them is pretty freaking epic. I think it looks good. I mean, it has the newer international former door star. Now it's the MV front end. That's what the old IC was based off of, the international door star. It's now the MV. We got the MV front end now on the school buses. So they're kind of keeping up with the times and they're making it look as modern as possible. And I can appreciate that from International and IC. What I really want to do now is I want to be able to drive one. I don't think they're hitting dealerships just yet. I know that my company I work for doesn't have any on their lots. I know that the local Wolfington, they're like a dealership around here. They don't have any on their lot yet. So we're going to, it's going to be a while until we're able to review one of these things and possibly even drive one. But as soon as I get that opportunity, I definitely, definitely want to take it. I'm hoping one day that my videos reach international or IC and I can maybe fly out to Tulsa and check out their plant. I think that would be really, really cool. But so far, I haven't really heard anything from them. You know, being a school bus enthusiast and a school bus YouTuber and TikToker, hopefully one day, maybe I'll be able to go out there and like film and show you guys the whole process of how they build the buses, like just where the bus is actually built. I think that would be cool for you guys to see. So what are your thoughts about this new bus? Do you think it's cool? Do you like it? I mean, to be honest, we were due for a refresh. Like that bus was just getting old and tired and the older internationals and ICs were just, they were around for a long time and it was kind of like its predecessor, the 3800. The 3800 did its job, it did its duty, and then it was retired. And then they came out with the new model, which was a little bit like the old International, but it was like the new International. And then they came out with the ICCE, and that was a whole new bus. And now we have the ICCE 2024 model. And it's like, it takes a while to get new buses, but when they do, it's a big deal. And now we'll probably have this bus for the next 25 years. So who knows, right? But if you did enjoy this video, guys, do me a favor, share it with all your friends. Click that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. If you're a school bus lover and enthusiast like me, or if you just like trucks in general, or if you like off-roading and mudding or all the different things I do on my channel, click subscribe. I am a melting pot of content over here. I have no idea what I'm going to post next, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Go follow me on Instagram, guys, at Real Claw Boss, R E E L Claw Boss, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.